YouTube, Ninja Midget here with a complete disassembly of the Ivor Johnson Top Break 32 caliber uh, revolver. This is the second generation, second gen of this pistol. Uh, it was made from, I'm not sure the starting date, but it was made up until the early 1900s. This was meant to be a black powder gun, um, so no uh, smokeless powder in this. It probably wouldn't blow up in your hand if you did that, but it would most definitely render the gun inoperable. Um, this is a nice little gun. It's got your auto ejector. This was called the um, safety auto. Now the safety part of that is you see as I cock the hammer this piece comes up. This piece right here that is the piece that's the safety feature because when you cock it this comes up and that actually makes it possible for the firing pin to be struck by the hammer so let me see if I can get a good view of this here on the camera you'll see the firing pin when I drop the hammer there it is now as I release the firing pin it's gonna lower that bar you can see that firing pin drop back in there because it's under spring tension spring tension rather uh, now what guys used to do the people who were trying to sell these was they'd have bullets in the gun and they'd hit it with a hammer hit the the hammer the back of the hammer with a hammer to prove that it wouldn't go off it was just kind of a, uh, a little gimmick that they used uh, the automatic portion of this was this that your ejector would automatically eject your shells, your spent shells, which to us nowadays, yeah, what a you know big whoop. But you know you got to remember that back in these times, we're talking this is just after the ball and cap days, uh, and uh, the latest technology before this was your was your cowboy pistols, where you had to spin um, spin the the cylinder and eject each shell manually so being able to just boing pop a bunch of them out and and have that ready to go again once you put some more shells in uh, was really a, a uh, step up in being able to quickly unload and reload your gun um, interesting history on this gun that I found in researching it is that this model gun is the one that was used in the assassination of President McKinley in 1901 uh, it was one that looked just like this, except it was nickel-plated. Uh, it's in a museum somewhere. I've, I found a picture of it. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, now on to the teardown. That's the history of the gun, but let's just go ahead and get on to tearing this thing down. Um, so the first thing you're going to want to do, of course, the safety check. Always got to say that. Make sure it's not loaded before you start working on it. Um, and this, uh, your cylinder just screws out. There are some threads on here, and that just screws straight out for you. And then to uh, disassemble this, you just unscrew, uh, unscrew this. A little spring comes out with it. Out comes your ejector, and that's it. That's all you need from there. Okay, so now next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take out our screw that's holding our two halves together take that out that just screws out like this these will then just pull straight apart uh, now you will notice there is a little spring down here uh, this is just a tensioning spring it can come out it's not really necessary for it to come out um, it's just in there under spring tension so I mean if you need to take it out just little little pair of pliers and tug it out and that's fine that'll work um, to take apart your catch all you're gonna do is unscrew this and there's a little detent in here that's under some spring pressure so you're gonna want to be careful not let that jump out on you as you take this out and then there's your screw out comes your catch and then there's your little detent in there and there is a spring in there as well I can get that to come out for me here there it is so there's your little detent in your spring and that's as much as you 
need to take the the front of the gun down that's pretty simple okay now moving on to the back end of the gun I'm gonna go ahead and take off the grips those come off pretty easily just pop them off like this that's that and you want to go ahead and make sure your hammers in the down position pop out your spring and there's that and then the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take off our trigger guard. And to take off our trigger guard, we're going to need to go ahead and unscrew this screw down in here, which is a little tight. So let me see if I can get. Let us go down there. No. Let me see. I need to be able to get some leverage on that. So. Get out my little screwdriver set. There we go. That'll let me get some leverage on that. Wow, that's a dirty screwdriver. Okay. So, break that loose. This is holding in the front of your trigger guard. And it just comes out straight like that. Then you're going to use a pin to punch out this back pin, a punch to punch out this back pin rather. That comes out pretty easy. Shouldn't be shouldn't be difficult. And then your entire assembly, your trigger assembly, and this is your uh, this this is uh, actually uh, your your sear release for your double action. Um, and so there you go. Got our trigger all functioning. Pulling the hammer back. That's how it's working. Okay, so now what we're going to do here's this spring that is uh, the tensioning spring for your trigger. And we can go ahead and just punch out our trigger pin. There's that. And this is one of these areas where it's a little bit difficult to get back in the gun. Essentially, to get it out, all you really got to do is take this screw down. And it pops out pretty easily. If, of course, I can get a screwdriver that's going to work with me here. There we go. Okay. There's your hammer screw, your hammer pin. And now, try to get this out so that it's intact and not... Uh, so I can get a look at the mechanism here, how this is functioning. There it is. All right. And now, this is the orientation that this goes in the gun. Right here. This little spring is pivoting on that pin. And this, this is what is uh, pushing out the front of the gun right here this piece goes in that little slot right there and this is what is camming your cylinder into the next notch and it goes in just like this this is that block um, this is what goes up in front of your hammer 
Let me pull the hammer out the top here. If it's going to come out on me, there we go. Um, it's in the gun. Get this back on here. So, this is in the gun just like this. Or is it like this? Excuse me. Um, where am I here? This is actually going forward like this. So, this is the way it goes on right here. Like this. And then, when this is in the up position, the hammer can just push that in and make contact with the firing pin. And then as the trigger comes back forward, that cams down out of the way. Just like that. So there that is for you. Pretty, pretty simple mechanism. It's a little bit difficult to get in when you're actually working on the gun. Um, I'll, I'll show that in my assembly video, but I wanted to give a little bit on how this part of the gun is functioning because a, uh, a viewer had requested that. So there's, there's that, and I'll have more on that. Um, but that is the complete disassembly of, of the pistol. It's really very, very simple. Um, it's, it's simple for you know an old revolver. I'm sure it was complex for the day, but in terms of how guns operate, today this isn't real complex and it's a relatively few uh, parts that are uh, that are in this gun uh, so that is it I will go ahead and uh, get this uh, finished and uploaded and um, I will be uh, working on getting the uh, assembly video done for this in the near future thanks for watching